hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel so you guys have been asking and asking and asking for an updated makeup tutorial but the truth is i really just use basically the same products that i used in my last video there's only literally like maybe one or two products that i have changed but i will give you guys an updated makeup tutorial because i do go more full coverage um for winter because it's just that winter full cold look i feel like winter's more full coverage and then summer's more like the light makeup i will link all the products that i use down below but enough of me waffling on now let's get into the glam so first i go in with my bobby brown vitamin enriched face base and i kind of just apply this now like where my pores would be here and then I just rub that in Then I go in with my number 7 Hydroluminous Moisturising Foundation in the shade Deeply Honey and then my Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in the shade Warm Chord. It's number 9. So yeah, I just mix these together on my face and just gives me more of like a full coverage kind of look. And then just blend it all together like so. Don't forget to blend down to the neck. Oh yeah, I already do have my brows done only because my brows these days take me ages to do and that will just have to be a tutorial for another day because you guys would thank me later, trust me. It would be like a 20 minute long video. I go very carefully around the hairline as well because I've got blonde hair, it's horrible when you get makeup in your hair, it just looks makes your hair look more orangey and it's horrible so that's just another tip be careful when applying your foundation around your hairline okay and then once I've blended that all in with my brush I'll just go in with like a beauty blender and just pat that all in just to make sure that it is gonna stay and doesn't have any like brush swipes in it so Now I go in with my concealer and I use the HMB Soft Focus Airbrush Concealer in the shade SF2W and I just apply it I just apply it there Right, and then I blend it. And then I just blend the other side. If you guys keep seeing this mirror, it's very dirty and I'm very sorry, but <laughs> I don't have any mirror over here, so I just have to use this one that I would normally do my makeup with and then my lucky charm I go in with my Chanel bronzer in the shade tan deep bronze so I just take that up on the highs of my cheekbones and then also on my forehead too like so I 
I just go in with a brush like this and I haven't cleaned them so don't come for me but I just kind of just like to apply it here I don't bring it too forward onto my actual cheeks I just like them on the highs of my cheekbones and then I go in with my Charlotte Tilbury Beauty Wand in pink gasm this is my lucky charm as well i take this everywhere with me i use a brush like this it's like an angled like fluffy brush it's perfect for blush and i just kind of apply the blush here and then here i don't like too much blush but i like going for that cold girl winter vibe so that's what we're trying to achieve today. On the news. And then once I've applied my blush, I will go in with the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer Anti-Crease. Just like right underneath my eye. Just to brighten it before I set my under eyes. Like so. That's it. And then I blend it. And then I go in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Powder in the shade Translucent. And I just take it on the back of a powder puff. And I just go in like that. And then vice versa on the other side. bit more and then with the excess that's on my powder puff I'll just go around everywhere else basically and just set it okay and then with a fluffy brush I'm just gonna swipe away that powder Very gently though, because I don't want to ruin the makeup. Okay, then I go in with, I can't, I don't even know what this is. The Laura Geller Baked and Body Frosting All Over Face and Body Glow. And it's in the shade Hawaiian Glow. Now, I could not find this anywhere. So I think it's something that they didn't continue doing. And um, this is literally how much I have left of it. So I'm panicking because it's my favourite bronzer. But I just apply it onto my brush like that. And I take it where I did my cream bronzer. So on the highs of my cheekbones and then on my forehead. But I just kind of go everywhere with it because it's bronzer. I just want to bronze my face up. I'm so tired, it feels like I'm literally running on 20 minutes sleep. I'm, uh, I don't know, I just knew, I just knew I needed to get this makeup tutorial done for you guys. But I'm definitely coming down with a cold or it's just 
that winter season tiredness and I just can't be able to do anything because that's how I feel right now but getting up and I'm being productive and I'm gonna be motivated and um, yeah you just gotta tell yourself that sometimes because otherwise you won't get anything done okay and then last but not least blush I love this blush I will use it till I die it's just that perfect pinky wintry colour it's gorgeous I like to take a lot of it on my brush I just kind of smile and apply it right on the apples of my cheeks on the nose as well so that it gives me that cold look as if I'm chilly but yeah you don't want to overdo it because sometimes you can overdo it and then it just looks just not normal but if you do the right amount you will get the gorgeous winter cold look okay now for my favorite part lips oh i love my lip combo at the moment it just is stunning so i take my essence eight hour matte comfort lip liner in the shade cinnamon swirl i just start to outline my lips with it I don't really overline my lips that much I only say I kind of just go like a little bit underneath my lip on the on my bottom lip but top lip I don't really overline it. Now I could really leave it like that because I already had some lip balm on. But I like to take it the step further. And I like to go in with my Made by Mitchell blush in the shade Melon Sorbet. And I just kind of apply it right in the centre of my lips to give that ombre effect. And then I just blend it out with my finger. I literally just apply the tiniest bit like that and then I blend it out with my finger and there you have it ombre lips I love that lip combo but to top it off I go in with the NYX butter gloss in the shade Madeline everyone's favorite and it's been my favorite for years now i love this it will never get old i just kind of apply it over the top just to give that shine effect i don't like to go overboard with it just like a little bit oh my god i forgot eyeshadow Hold on, for eyeshadow I just go in with this brush and it's very dirty so we're going to ignore that. But I use this brush and I just kind of go into my bronzer because I like to use all the same shades. I like my face to be like all kind of matching, do you know what I mean? I just go in and do that. You probably won't be able to tell on camera but in person it makes such a difference. And then vice versa on the other side. Because I don't like anything too drastic. It's just like a little natural, you know, eye look. And because the bronzer's got like some shimmer in it, it just makes it look really nice and just shiny and as if it was natural when it's not, obviously. Okay guys, and there you have it. That is my updated makeup tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. It's 
just a little bit of a quick one just so that you guys can see the updated makeup but it is basically just what I do before nothing's really changed apart from like two products but I hope you guys enjoy it's probably a bit of a shorter video than like a normal makeup tutorial would be but I'm not feeling that great but I still want to give you guys what you've been asking for so yeah I hope you guys enjoyed this video and yeah tune into my next video because my next video is going to be very exciting I cannot wait love you bye